Well, that's a little better. Not much, though. I still got a glare. Sorry, you don't know, but I... The glare is really bad. I can't turn some lights off. Turn another light off, they'll be in the dark. That won't work. So, welcome to um, the module for the week. And we're starting, like, September 24th. And this module is going to be a two-week-long module. We are going to start a... <clears throat> yeah, I'm tired. We're going to start talking about ethical use of information. So the goods, the bads, the uglies. And we're going to start by looking at two things during this first week. Digital citizenship. That's a tongue twister. Digital citizenship, if I enunciate. And evaluating internet information. And then in the next part of the module, which will open next week, we're going to look at the ethical use of information. And we'll talk about citing and those kind of things during that. During the first part of the module that we, you will be working on this week, digital citizenship is going to focus on one small piece of the digital citizenship because you'll be working with digital citizenship more in depth in another course. Digital citizenship for this course is going to be looked at in the big picture of your school district's acceptable use policy. So really what you're going to do is you're going to get your acceptable use policy and you're going to analyze it for, well, what does it say? How does it foster creating responsible digital citizens? So that's going to be the focus. And then before you actually do that analysis, I'm going to have you do a little, I'll call it an adventure. It's kind of fun. It's something that you might have your students do, especially those of you who are in the middle level. I think they'll really enjoy, and it's kind of a fun way to learn some of the decision-making process that goes along with digital citizenship. So we'll, get, we'll introduce it that way, and then you'll analyze your acceptable use policy. That's the digital citizenship piece of this module. Then there's the internet evaluation piece. That's where we say, okay, it's on the internet. It's got to be true, right? I found it on the internet. Of course it's true. It's like when I was trolling on Facebook and you read and people are posting things. Can you believe it? Hello, have you checked to see if that really happened or if that picture is real or what year this was from? Because a lot of times... Trends roll around. Yeah, it's crazy. Just because it's on the internet, no, it doesn't mean it's true. No, we tell our kids that all the time, right? But we tend to forget that we need to teach them how to evaluate that information. How do I know if it's good, bad, ugly? How can I find out if it's an old copy? Who's the author? What, you know, how do I know this stuff? So that's what you're going to work on with the piece of the module about evaluating internet information. And yes, some of it might be old hat, but it never, ever, ever hurts to um, refresh our knowledge. And you might even find some things that you didn't know about that you want to use, or you might learn something that, oh, well, I didn't realize that. I need to keep that in mind, or I need to share that with so-and-so. Okay, that's a lot of what we always want you to get out of these courses as well taking stuff out that you can use, or that you can share, or that moves you a little further along the journey towards feeling more confident in your professionalism. No matter whether you're going to stay a classroom teacher, you're moving to the library, someday you want to be a technology coach, facilitator, integration specialist, whatever they call it, whatever you want to, whatever. Um, we want you to be able to take things away from what we've done and, and really think about them and, and use them, pass them on, share them. Okay, that's we're great with that. Share things, share things with us that you find. Yeah, we want to work together and become better educators so that our students are ready for what comes next. All right, great. And then as we move on into the next part of the module, about using information ethically, 
We're going to talk about plagiarism and citations. You can do a little writing and all that's going to go on. Don't be afraid of it, though, because, again, we've heard it. Some of us know it better than others, and that's okay. But we're going to work through it together. And by the end, you're going to say, oh, yes, I needed that. Or, oh, my high school English teacher, I got to share this with them. It's just so cool. They need this. So I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, just ask, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.